Nowadays, all we hear about are wars and rumors of wars. That is one of the last times things that's going to take place is wars and rumors of wars. Constant warfare. So many things appear likely to happen, if not inevitable right now. Um, Hezbollah, with their many rockets, keep northern Israel from live, living peacefully. And Israel wants to push them back because the people living there can't go in their houses. They haven't been able to go in their houses for months. Yet Hezbollah refuses to move and they want to keep it that way. They consider it a victory on their side if they do that. But Israel is going to escalate because they will do something to, to push them back. And if they do, if they go to the source of the some of the problems, they're going to bomb Damascus. In Isaiah 17, 1, you see a scripture fulfilled where they will utterly destroy Damascus, whether it be with some weapon of mass destruction or all that stockpile of tens of thousands of rockets they have, maybe hundreds of thousands, is going to blow up on them and destroy the whole city. But that's a, that's a Bible prophecy that is yet, yet to be fulfilled. Meanwhile, in Iran, who controls Hezbollah and Hamas, they're getting ready to have a nuclear weapon. They're very, very close to having that. So far, no one's showing any kind of um, willpower to get rid of that, to take it out. They have done that in the past, I know, is, is bomb Iran. But this time, they're getting very close, and they've got a deep, deep bunker where they do all this to take a concerted effort to get rid of it. Once Iran gets a nuclear weapon, then the whole Middle East is in grave danger. And Iran could easily put that weapon on a boat because they have ship missiles that ship launching missiles that could hit anywhere then after that. And then if Israel attacks Damascus, Syria, or Iran, the whole world will oppose it, and they'll use that as an excuse and a pretext, which would end up being the start of World War III. And World War III is foretold in the Bible. It's part of the Great Tribulation. And everything is shaping up in the end times. All the war, politics, religion, technology, culture, it's all real. The Bible is real. Now is the time to accept Jesus. Because if you do that, you won't be here for the Great Tribulation. You wouldn't have to be. Christians will not be present for the Great Tribulation. We know this because of several verses in the Bible. Christians will be caught up to meet Jesus in the air. So listen to this. 2 Thessalonians 2.7 For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. The Holy Spirit is the great restrainer. The Holy Spirit works within Christians who will be removed after the rapture. That's the only way that that's the only way uh, they can be taken out of the way. And that is when all hell will literally break loose. If you think things are bad right now and you're right, they'll be far worse then. But like I said, you won't have to be here for that. Here's another thing to think about as far as being here during the Great Tribulation. In Revelation 13, 
15, we read, And he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should be should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. If you don't worship the beast, you'll be killed. The image of the beast is that it may be an AI personality program to be evil and be pro Satan. Could be. We have, they have the technology for that. And read down later in Revelation 19 20. And the beast was taken with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, which he deceiveth them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So the beast, probably the, the Antichrist, And everybody who followed him is going to be cast in the lake of fire. And if you don't take the image, if you don't take the mark of the beast, then you'll be killed. And if you don't worship the image of the beast, which maybe is the AI manifestation of the Antichrist, you'll be killed. It's a great deception, as I've mentioned before in my other videos, that people will fall for and they'll lose their souls. That's why you must accept Jesus now. This is all real. All these things that we see today and we're used to, they're going to go away. All these distractions that we're very comfortable in paying attention to, they're going to go away. The United States is going to run out of money. It's going to go bankrupt. It's not going to be what it is now. It's going to go away. It's all going to go away. The Bible's real. Jesus is real. God is real. Accept Jesus now before it's too late. Because we don't know when that time is going to start. But we do know the season. And the season is very, very soon. 